Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at the solution of the problem number 1365. How many numbers are smaller than the current number? But before we begin, let me remind you of the Discord server named Edignite NGO. This server has been made, as I have already told in the previous lecture, has been made by Prince Verma sir and alumni of Edignite NGO. So over here, you can ask doubts and topics related to and discuss topics related to IT field. Okay. And as well as you can uh, uh, you, you can look into the content that will be posted by Prince Verma sir. Okay, useful some of the useful contents and some updates in the same sector. So, this particular platform is for all the like-minded people who are either computer science enthusiasts or they want to excel in the career of computer science. So, do join this particular Discord server from the link given in the description below. And yes, share it with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation. So let me now move to how many numbers are smaller than the current number. Okay, so I have copied whole code. Okay, I have copied whole uh, question into my whiteboard. Let us now move. Let us now move to our whiteboard. Okay, so over here we are given an array of nums. Okay, we are given an array of nums. Let me just make it bigger make it a big bit bigger okay so we are given with an array of nums okay we are given an array of nums for each nums of i and yes this code is very much similar to this question is very much similar to one of the previous questions that we have studied in this particular series okay and yes I will, uh, I will expect that you pause the video and you try, okay, one, one time you try on your own and then come back to the video for the solution, okay. So, we are given an array of numbers. For each num, I find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it, okay. So, here for each nums of i, for each nums of i, we have to count number of valid j's, okay, such that j is not equal to i, okay. J should not be equal to I. It should be less than uh, uh, I, right? So, nums of J, nums of J, nums of J is less than I. Now, let us look at an example over here, okay? We better, we actually better understand by example. So, let me just write 2, 2 and 3 over here, okay? So, first number is 8. First number is 8, okay? So, we will just compare, okay. In the array, we will just find out how many numbers are less than 8. 4 numbers are actually less than 8. So, we will create another array, okay. We need to create another array or we can say a vector and then we need to push this into the vector, okay. Now, let us look at 1, okay. So, over here, you see that 1, there are no elements which are smaller than 1. So, over here, we will write 0. Okay, then we have 2. Okay, so you see there is one element which is smaller than 2, one more element smaller than 2 and there are 3 elements. Okay, 1, 2 and 3. Actually, there are 3 elements which are smaller than 3. So, our resultant array or our resultant vector becomes this. Okay, over here we can directly use vector. Okay, no need to create array and then convert array into a vector. Right. So, how we will code it? Let us write pseudo code of this. Okay. So, for that we will run a loop. Okay. We will run a loop from first to last. Right. So, let, uh, let me just specify the loop on itself. Okay. Over here we will run a, a loop. Now, let me just write for. Okay. For and I will uh, clarify a bit. For i from for i from zero to for for i from zero to and nums dot size okay for i from zero to nums n u m s nums dot size nums dot size and then we are running a loop okay 
Inside this loop, we need to run one more loop for j, right? So we need to run one more loop for j. But before we run one more loop, we need to actually uh, use a count, okay? We need to have a counter. Here it's equal to 0. And then we need to run a loop for j, okay? So for j, from, for j, from, oops, from. 0 to nums dot size okay nums dot size now j should not be equal to i okay j should not be equal to i it was a condition okay so we will just write if j is not equal to i if j is not equal to i and then write the further code inside this particular condition because j should not be equal to i okay now over here we will write one more condition. Okay, we'll write one more condition. If, if nums nums, okay, if nums dot i over here, let us see. Okay, so we need to have nums i less than j, nums i less than, less than nums of j. Sorry, nums of j less than nums of i okay we are running one more loop inside uh, inside this so here we need to write nums j less than nums i oops let me just move over here and erase this okay and let me write it one more time okay so over here let me write if if nums of j is less than nums of i okay nums nums of i if nums of j is less than nums of i then we need to increase the value of count okay so count count plus plus count plus plus and then we will close this statement close the if statement then close the nested for loop okay and after that we will just push it okay so let us uh, have a vector that is answer answer dot push i am just writing push okay push answer dot push count so we are pushing our count and then we will close the outermost for loop okay at last we will return we will return r e t u r and return answer okay at last we will return answer so this is the whole code okay this is the whole pseudo code actually not the, the actual code let us now move to the lead code and code our solution okay so let me let let me write over here okay first of all int max sorry not int max here we need to write int count and then then afterwards we need to make a vector okay vector 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 int okay vector int ans that is answer okay vector int ans now we need to run a for loop for int i equal to 0 int i equal to 0 i less than nums nums dot size i less than nums dot size i plus plus i plus plus okay after i let us do it for j so for for j equal to sorry int j int j equal to 0 int j equal to 0 int j equal to 0 then j less than j less than nums dot size nums dot size nums dot size and j plus plus j plus plus okay now over here we need to have a condition if j is not equal to i if j is not equal to i nums of i nums of j less than nums of i so nums then we will check a condition if nums of j nums of j is less than nums of i okay then we will just uh, increase the value of count okay count plus plus okay before the for loop let me decrease it so count is equal to zero count is equal to 
zero. Okay, so this is the if statement, nested if statement, and after outer uh, sorry the nested for loop. Okay, and now let us push it into the answer. Answer a n s dot push back push back a n s dot push back count. Okay, a n s dot push back count, and after we push the our count, let us return. Okay, so return. A N S return A N S. Okay, so this is our whole for loop. Let us look if it works. Okay, so you see that it has solution is accepted. Now let us uh, run it. Okay, let us run it. You see that it's success. Okay, it's a success. So uh, this was this was the solution. This was the solution for how many numbers are smaller than the current number. That's it for this particular session. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you everyone.